हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम टू एवरीवन होप यू आर लर वेल एंड एंजॉइंग हेल्दी लाइफ वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल स्टूडियो ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्टर प्रोटीप दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज फॉर आवर व्यूअर्स सो प्लीज लिसन टू इट केयरफुली काइंडली डोंट डाउनलोड दिस वीडियो जस्ट स्ट्रीम इट ऑन यूट्यूब इफ़ यू लाइक आवर वर्क आवर एफर्ट देन डोंट फॉर टू लाइक कॉमेंट शेयर एंड डोंट फॉर टू सब्सक्राइब subscription link is already given in the description if you are a first time viewer then i strongly recommend you to watch this video completely otherwise you can switch to the desired part of the video by using time lapse i have added time lapse in this video as well which is also provided in the description as you all know this is a basic level beginner level series lab series of my sequel using zamp as a simulator so this is efficient for bachelor level students and for those who are willing to try a certification in database systems it will help them a lot also all previous links of my videos my playlists are already given in the description in previous videos i have discussed how to code ddl commands aka data definition language commands how to use mysql syntax that will be very helpful for my viewers in today's video i am going to discuss how to code dml commands aka data manipulation language command today i will be covering the following main questions about dml commands what are dml commands aka the the data manipulation language commands how to code dml commands the data manipulation language commands and practical implementation of dml commands aka the data manipulation language commands so let's start starting from the insert command this is used to add one or more rows to a table the values are separated by commas and the data type character and data are enclosed in apostrophes the values must be entered in the same order as they are defined so what is insert command it is used to insert tuple rows into a table going towards the insert command syntax inserting a single row into a table for example if you want to insert a single row into a table we must use this syntax for example insert into database name the table name values and the value list For example, I am going to insert these values 97, no man, and so on using this syntax. Now I have inserted into all columns of the table. so as you can see customer has id name and address city state and zip these 1 2 3 4 6 fields columns attributes there i have inserted this record 99 noman and so on now i am going to show you another syntax that is used to insert into specific columns for example if we want to insert into specific columns then we must use this syntax now i am going to use this in my practical demonstration okay what is the database name here the database name is customer dot customer now i have inserted via using specific columns what is select command it is used to retrieve information from the table it is generally referred to as queuing the table we can either display all columns in a table or only specific columns from the table so uh, to show the output i'm going to use this command select static from customer dot 
customer select query from database name dot table name so it has shown the records in the customer table the database name is also customer now i'm going to change its order into descending order now if you want to uh, want to change the order of the selected record you can use select steric from customer dot customer order by order by id descending to sh show the last inserted record as you see i have inserted numan numan many times what will be the id select query from database name dot table name order by id descending 100 i have inserted numan 99 numan 98 numan 97 numan i have previously inserted this record for example select id and name from customer dot customer So it is showing ID and name. I'm going to add order ID. Hundred Naman and whatever the columns we will select before the from class, it will show in the output. Now another class that is the distinct class it prevents retrieving the duplicated values distinct keyword is to be used so to prevent duplicated values we must use distinct clause now i'm going to show you how it works i have inserted numan many times numan 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 now i want to show you using the distinct keyword NOMAN comes up in the output one time and NOUMAN comes in the output one time once in the output so we have eliminated the duplicated values using the distinct keyword now the next command is if you want to duplicate a table in a database name for example if I wanted to duplicate customer as a customer one table and now customer as a customer two table now as you see in customer table there are at most 100 records and i wanna duplicate all these record into another table in the same database i must use the, uh, this syntax create table if not exist customer dot customer to as select steric from existing table name what is the existing table name the existing table name is customer create table customer dot customer to the new table now as you see customer2 table has formed and now to show the output of the customer2 table the last record must be 100 now as you see all records are duplicated in the same database name with, with the new table name our next command is insert into database name the table name bracket open selects columns from existing table name if you want to copy only record from another table we can use in future this command now coming back to our next command that is the update command 